So guys, I'm here right in the goat shed. Very sunny morning. But I love what I'm saying. Guys, take a look around. Just take a look around. Over 400 goats and sheep. Quite a number. And yeah, there is certainly way more sheep than goats. You can see one of the little kids came to say hi. Say hi. He has run away. Anyway, the sheep certainly grow way, 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 way quicker than the goats. That's something I've noticed. Number two is that these things really grow quick. It's not been so long that I've been here, but all the kids we had in March, early Feb, are almost ready for eating right now. So these things grow really, really quick. It's something that I would advise for anyone over there who wants to get a rather easy way into farming. And yes, the sheep also eat way more. The other thing I've noticed is that they usually cluster. So if you guys take a look around here, you'll notice that most of what you're seeing is actually goats, yeah? Lots of goats. But then if you take a look over there now, those over there are in the shed. The problem is that if I get close, they're going to run away. But if, I, if you take a look over here, most of what you're going to see is sheep. Yeah, lots and lots of sheep over here. So the sheep usually chill together and the goats usually chill together, but they don't have a problem being with each other. The other thing that I've noticed is that the sheep are a bit dumber compared to the goats. Yeah, they're a bit slow in their thinking and the way they do their things, but well, that's how God made them. The goats are certainly way brighter, way, way brighter. So what's happening this morning is that we are trying to isolate the sheep and the goats that are not feeling well, the ones that are ill. So I have my colleague in the background, I don't know if you guys can see him over there. He never likes to put on shirts, I don't know why, he loves to be naked. Anyway, we are trying to isolate the goats and the sheep and we are going to be putting them inside a room over here. You can see that he has picked up a black goat over there, moving it in. And then after that we are going to put them inside this room that you can see here he's going to open it up open that door yeah you can see and put it inside there so we have quite a number of goats and sheep already in there and then after that we're just going to treat them you know it's easy to tell what's wrong with the goats and sheep after some time you get experience and what kind of treatment to give them so i'll be injecting them myself and i know they'll get better that i'm very certain of because i've done this a number of times <laughs> the gold shed we have a small hill you guys can see it it's like an anthill probably an anthill um so it has a lot of soil which is clay i think it's clay soil the red clay i don't know the name it's maram certainly some form of maram and the goats love to dig in there they they love to eat the soil i think they get the iron from there so they really love it so you'll find them digging and eating the soil so we actually already have quite a big hole in there over there we have a really huge tank uh you guys can see it it's a really really huge tank and um, the tank doesn't just supply the goat shed no the tank actually supplies a lot of the farm so it's powered by a pump somewhere you know a solar pump that power brings water over here and then we use this water to feed the goats over here, to feed some cattle, and then we have greenhouses this side where we are growing some crops. So this tank also supplies that. But the goats like to chill under the, the tank, as you can see over there. This over here is a goat shed. Um, or sheep shed. I don't know which one to call it. Usually we call it a goat shed. And it's where the sheep and the goats go to sleep in case it's raining. You know, they really detest the rain. If you guys have noticed what happens when it's raining and it rains on goats, they all like fold up and they act like they're feeling really cold. They ain't like cattle. The cattle really are like badass. They just stand like this. But the goats and sheep, you'll notice that they're feeling cold. So they never really love it. So when there's a shed, they would love to go in there. So they go in here. But the floor is not the best, I'm not so proud of it. You can see that we have loads of holes inside the floor. So this is actually maram. We just placed maram inside here and you know, toppled over it and then the goats come inside here. The only problem is that it has really delayed, it has stayed for a really long time. And what's happened is that slowly by slowly, holes have developed. And the problem with that is that with time, um, the, 
dung of the goats when it's raining it stays in there and it can cause disease so the plan is that sometime this week we're just going to get new new amaram and we pour in here it's been delayed a bit because we've been having some rains and you don't want to pour amaram inside here during the rainy season because it's going to get really terrible it's going to get very muddy so you want to pour it in when it's dry it looks like it's been dry over the past two days. Hopefully there will rain today or something like that. Then we can get more maram and pour it in here and we have a better environment. Better hygiene. And this is our water source as you guys can see. Yep. So the water pours inside here. We have um, cement slabs. Are these cement or concrete slabs? I don't know what you'd call it. It's finished with cement inside, but it's built with concrete. And then we have the water in here. So the goats come and, and the sheep, they come and drink from here. So they know where the water is. And then the other thing that we have is that we have a place for the salt. Yeah? I don't know if you guys can see. But over here, we keep salt for the goats and the sheep. And, you know, they occasionally come and lick on it. You know, we have salt here in a corner. So they come and lick on it because you want to make sure that they have enough sodium and potassium. You know, they have enough salts in their body and they're not lacking minerals. So you want to give them a balanced diet for everything. So guys, the goats and sheep grow really, really quick, which is a nice thing. In a very short time, you've had them matured. So the schedule for us, you might wonder why they're in here and they're not feeding. What happens is that they stay inside this shed until around midday. And then at midday, they'll go out and they'll feed from midday to 6 p.m. They don't need too much feed. I know there are people who even feed them from just around 2, 3 p.m. up to, you know, 6, 7 p.m. So for us, it's from midday. We'll just have the guy who keeps care of them, the husband, move out with them. The little tiny babies will stay in here because they can't cope up. They can't move the long distances, which he moves when he's keeping them. So they'll stay in here and they don't eat a lot of grass anyway. And then he'll move out with the adults and then they will feed on the grass. You know, we have over maybe 300 acres of grass on this farm, almost 400 acres actually of grass where they can feed and they don't eat too much. So the space is enough for them. They'll move around, they'll feed and then at around 6 p.m. in the evening, um, who will come back 6 30 p.m. Who will come back and they'll come inside here. They drink their water and everything It's quite dirty inside here. So what happens is that at midday, when the goats and the sheep have moved out, someone starts cleaning inside here. What used to happen before is that the cleaning would be done when the goats and the sheep are still in here. But then we noticed that the goats and the sheep would suffer from a lot of flu, you know, nasal irritation. And I think because, because of the dust. So after that, we decided, you know, to clean inside here we'll just sweep it out every day apart from the days when it rains when the goats and sheep have moved out and they are feeding and guys the most interesting thing i found about these goats and sheep is you'll find a grown-up goat or sheep especially the sheep breastfeeding from a mother that's not their mother you know the mother has a little lamb but someone who is grown up comes to breastfeed and they seem okay with it i'm like whoa this is really strange but well, uh, that's life. <laughs> that's their life. They enjoy it. That's all up to them. So guys, that was a brief tour of what happens in our goat farm. I'm clearly going to be sharing more and more over time. But don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Smash that notification bell. That way you never miss out on an upload. Hit the like button. You're going to be getting more and more videos with time. If you have any question about our goat and sheep shed or any advice, any tips, Leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Lots of love. Catch you very soon with another video. Bye-bye.